From there, an inlet guide vane automatically adjusts itself to changes in system demand, regulating the incoming low-velocity air or gas stream as it flows toward the first stage impeller with a pre-swirl effect. As the low-velocity air or gas stream flows into the first stage stainless steel impeller at the inducer, centrifugal force directs its flow to the trailing edge. From there, the accelerated air or gas stream flows from the first stage impeller to a radio diffuser, which converts the air's high velocity into static pressure before the heated air enters the scroll casing. To ensure perfect aerodynamics, F.S. Elliott will custom design both the backward-leaning impeller and radio diffuser for your specific application. With each stage of compression, the air or gas temperature rises, pressure increases, and volume decreases. In addition to the impellers and radio diffusers, the rotor assembly consists of a pinion supported by two self-centering tilting or flexure pad journal bearings. Shaft seals on the impellers prevent gearbox oil from contaminating the compression chamber. Powered by a high-speed motor, the pinions and central bull gear are machined to AGMA Quality Class 13. After passing into the scroll casing, the heated air or gas flows through the inner stage piping into the first stage intercooler, causing the moisture to condensate and separate from the lower velocity cooled air. Because F.S. Elliott intercoolers feature straight through tubes, cleaning is possible, rather than costly replacement. As the air travels through the corrosion-resistant plenum, the separated condensate is removed from the compressor through a drain valve located at the bottom of the intercooler enclosure. By regulating the discharge of condensate, the drain valve increases the efficiency of the process by preventing unnecessary compressed air loss. Once the condensate is removed, the cooled air exits the inner cooler and flows into the inlet duct for the next stage of compression, during which the entire process is repeated. The compressed air or gas then moves to the after cooler, where it's cooled and any remaining moisture is removed. This highly energy efficient process concludes with the delivery of ISO 8573-1 Class 0 certified oil-free air, ready to power a variety of industrial applications. Depending on the number of stages within the configuration, discharge pressure can reach a maximum of 350 PSIG or 23 bar G.